<laughs> We're from Revolution here at the at Basel Fair 2019. I, I would normally preface this by saying possibly the last Basel Fair of all time, but as long as Rolex is here, we will keep coming to Basel Fair. Yeah. Correct? <laughs> We will keep even, coming even over and just, over again if it's, it's just, just Rolex, <laughs> which is fine because then we can do the Basel Fair in like two hours, which is fine. It's about the best time. we go home. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, 2019, uh, first watch that's up here is one of the most iconic watches in diving history, Helium Release Valve, the first watch to feature that. That is, of course, the mythical Rolex Sea Dweller, today executed in two-tone, gold and steel. And if you're wondering why you want to have a gold and steel watch on the most hard-used deep diving watch, except, of course, of the deep sea, it's just because it's cool. It's very beautiful, and quite honestly, how many of you guys actually use these watches for diving? Although you could, because you could. functionally. Yes. Yeah. So what I really like about this is I, I used to love the old two-tone, um, well, actually, they're making it, uh, GMT, because they did the ceramic bezel, and then they've got the PVD of the gold uh, indexes in there, and they've used the same technology here. What else can I tell you? You've got the Sea Dweller in gold for the first time, if I'm not mistaken, right? Because usually it's not. Mm -hmm. And just an amazing watch. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Of, what do you guys think? Like it? It's mm -hmm. actually Suzanne. Some of you may think on. that you've seen yeah, this watch that. already, yeah. but trust but you me, have you not. have yeah, not. Yeah. Just, just to back that up, also, really? like if, if you're kind of a dick and you feel like it's important for you to like take pictures of like a catalog that you got in some sort of shady way <laughs> and use that to be the first guy to have anything Rolex related on the internet, you're a tool, dude. Right? You're not doing the brand me favors because you're taking the worst type of imagery conceivable and putting that up there, and you're not you know you're not doing yourself any favors because basically you just look like a tool. But anyway, going back to watches, and you know, just don't do that. It's yeah. not cool for your fellow professionals. No, man. Anyway, so my turn is fallen to me to talk about the day dates because, I mean, who wouldn't? I got first dips on them. Anyway, so if you remember, like a few years ago, uh, 2013, it was 2013 when uh, Rolex came up with a line of uh, day dates, absolutely spectacular colored dials with uh, gorgeous, tasty names like cognac dial, and there was this lush green dial that I, I, like everyone wanted. It was kind of the watch of the summer. Like Wei said it, uh, some of our best retailer friends said it, it was literally the watch to have. And now we, we've got it here in the bracelet because when it came out, it was on strap, I believe. Yes, anyone confirm this? I get some nods, we are good to go. It was. And uh, look here at the depth of the green on the dial. It's gorgeous, first of all. We have the diamond indexes, so it's it's just very subtle. You don't, you don't have it all around the bezel, we'll get to that later. But... Um, I'm truly just, you know, I'm not really going to go on about day dates and all that, but this is just truly a spectacular watch. It looks amazing. And if you're thinking over here, ooh, what's that? It looks like a Stella dial. It is and it isn't because it is a hardstone turquoise dial with a color that's so pure. It just reminds you of all the vintage um, lacquer dials with a really bright, um, like uh, the so-called Stella. Um, day dates and as you can see when you pull in closer you can actually see the lines and the veins of the turquoise of the natural stone and to me that's just gorgeous and you know you have some little diamonds on the side on the hour markers just to make it a little bit more special Very but cool. to me this is the one i'm taking home with me don't tell them <laughs> i'm putting it in my pocket yeah, as long as we don't have to pay for it Suzanne, that's fine Dude, um, why did you say that you're not supposed to say so we're going to go from there to summit who's got with him uh the new version of the batman no 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 right now in a jubilee bracelet but the changes are not just on the outside but also on the inside correct summit yeah so it's the new movement that's on the inside um I mean, you can tell because you've got the the crown on the in in the middle of the Swiss made right now. What, what caliber is that? That's a three two eight five weight. Damn, dude. Spot on. Well done. Ooh. Well done. We, well, we, we, we try. We try. Exactly. We're in. We try. We try. But Fantastic. of course, uh, the Batman being one of those watches, probably one of the best contemporary sports Rolex watches in, in terms of execution, mm -hmm. has had phenomenal success for the brand. That's it's just, uh, if I may speak about aftermarket prices. Uh, they're they're untouchable mm -hmm. and then of course last year when rumors came out that the watch was going to be discontinued that drove things even to uh, further further mad mad levels mm -hmm. uh, but hey we see that it never really went away mm -hmm. uh, here is never do. well as I recall that that rumor was also started by the same knucklehead that uh, was also um, you know kind of was he yeah uh, exactly uh, so so the point is also it's like dude it's simple, right? We're all professionally journalists and we like to work with the embargo. The embargo is a certain date and then you know how we like to establish our reputation? By mm -hmm. just doing really good journalism as, yeah. a, as opposed to trying to front run anyone in a kind of a cheesy way. So just don't do it, dude. Yeah, right? speculation is a do horrible that. Don't thing. Don't shit in the pool. Now, now. Don't shit in the pool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Even though it's, you it pool was never... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
yes. that's not a term for general circulation. That's I right, leave it in. It's fine. Okay. <laughs> and so even though it was never really gone, we get to call this now the Batman Returns. Exactly. Hey! hey! Yeah, very Woo! Oh my Brilliant. god! Okay, so from there we're gonna go to fire. Ross Povey, our man. Uh, all and incidentally, uh, Revolution is dedicated to telling the entire story of the modern innovations of Rolex. So that's a very very important thing for us, yeah. right? Yeah. Definitely. So what you got in your uh, in your hand right there, buddy? So it's back the blue GMT. Um, Blue dial. We saw this first for the first time last year. Great watch, white gold with the um, Pepsi style bezel. Last year we saw it with the blue dial. It phased out pretty quickly. Um, collectors are already talking about that watch. So there's a lot of speculation as to why, and I think that in general the, the consensus was that the dial and the blue ceramic didn't match perfectly, and Rolex being ever the perfectionist decided to phase it out. And then some guys decided that this is going to be the most collectible modern uh, yep. Rolex GMT yep. of all time. Yep. However, it's back. <laughs> <laughs> it's back, but I think the blue is different. <laughs> but it's better. It's, it's back and it's yeah, better. Yeah, the blue perfectly matches the blue in the bezel this right. time. So I think that was the, the, the tweak that was needed. And yes. I think it's beautiful but anyway regardless um, either you have a short sort of like a uh, lifespan super limited collectible or you have a watch that's also perfect in execution you could choose maybe have both yeah both would right? be my that's, choice i think that's the yeah that's the choice and, where and do you then we've got to talk about the bling it's blings back this year um forget it was um, never gone <laughs> uh, yeah baguette bezel daytona um on oyster flex i mean it's what's not to love about this watch. Uh, I think, Suzanne, you said this is the Eye of the Tiger. Well, dial. I called it the Eye of the Tiger. Yeah, because, I mean, yeah. It, it, for me, the Daytona just works perfectly when it's blinged up. Um, mm -hmm. you know, um, yeah. And this particular version, to me, super cool. Um, a great addition to the lineup. And yeah, I mean, it's, yes. it's, it's awesome. This really is a watch awesome. that you can really flex in. Oyster flex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Suzanne. I, yeah, I apologize. Can, I'm yeah. so sorry. I'm so embarrassed. Ooh. And why wouldn't you? I mean, I, it's a daily wearer, definitely. I think. <laughs> so if you like uh, a GMT, is also you got to check this one out as well. Suzanne, give us a lowdown on the meteorite dial GMT. Okay, so meteorite dials, as you've seen before, uh, they are sourced from, this is going to come as no surprise to a lot of people, meteorites, which are rocks that come from <laughs> outer space and they crash onto Earth. You don't say. These, <laughs> okay. These patterns that you see are very characteristic of uh, the, the arc size that uh, appear when you slice the meteorite into very sort of thin sections, which is what you need for these dials. And then uh, you, you acid eat them to bring the, the patterns out. Cool. And it starts with a W. I'm not going to try and pronounce it. It's a Wittmann, Staten, some, like some German dude's name patterns, but they're very characteristic of this kind of iron oxide uh, meteorites that are very common in the, the watch dial meteorite that you'll see. Beautiful. And uh, you know, the, the beautiful thing about it obviously is that you know, when you turn it, it catches the light and it plays with the light in the way that you know you don't really get with a static dial in most senses. But uh, yeah, yeah, I'm digging it. And every every watch is therefore unique as well. Exactly, That's because fantastic. obviously it's a it's a natural material. White gold execution. The other uh, use of meteorite, which we all remember from last year, of course, is on the the sub dials of the the, the legendary Rainbow Daytona, mm -hmm. which we're all we're all waiting to, to be allocated one. But that's, that's it all came good. from that's outer all, space. It's all good. And uh, someone's going to round things up with a very cool watch, the new Yacht Master. Uh, not to flex, the <laughs> oh, oyster flex one more time. Um, it, we have the Yacht Master in white gold. Uh, when we first saw this in the rose gold, of course, that was a that was a whole completely different sort of a beast. And I think the way that People, people appreciated that uh, that entire watch coming together was something that was stunning though. Yeah. And you guys remember that the Yacht Master was actually the first watch we ever saw the Oyster Flex on. Absolutely, yeah. And you know what's really cool about this watch is, again, this is a watch that it doesn't do you justice to take a, a picture of a catalog for this watch mm -hmm. because there's so much, there's no, it's true. Yeah. You look at that, there's, you don't see the nuance. For example, that no. bezel, which is so cool, which has all the subtlety on it, you need to see in the flesh. And what exactly. I really about that blacked out bezel also reminds me a little bit of the Explorer blackout dials as ah, well, yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. it's like, it's yeah. kind of Rolex doing something with a little bit of a twist. Mm -hmm. Functional, sure, mm -hmm. but aesthetically incredibly cool. And I think that honestly, that's one of the sleeper hits of this show. Exactly. Love the size, also. Yeah. Right? You look at a crappy little picture of it; it's not going to look good. It looks flimsy, but in reality, it's it stunning. Is solid it's a, it's AF. Stunning. It's a great watch. So, guys, thank you so much for joining us here at the Basel Fair 2019, where the sausages, though they've yet to materialize, are very expensive, but the watches are awesome. Yeah, stay tuned. Peace yeah. out. Cheers. <laughs>